People across Florida and Georgia who were in Idalia's path are picking through the pieces of the rubble where their homes once stood. This is video from Horseshoe Beach in the Big Bend. Jimmy Butler returned to find his home survived the storm, but many of his neighbors, they were not as lucky. It's the worst storm we've ever been through. And, um, and we're going to rebuild. Uh, it'll never be the same. Horseshoe will never be the same for me, you know. But we'll rebuild and uh, build. Hopefully, uh, be ready for the next one that comes. Initial reports estimate it will cost between 12 and 20 billion dollars to recover from the damage. That's a significantly smaller price tag compared to other hurricanes in the recent past. For example, Ian did more than 112 billion dollars in damage. Every JEA customer who lost power during yesterday's storm had their electricity restored. And now local crews hope to help people in Georgia. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is live. And Ashley, they're heading out right now. Yes, you guys, we expect that to happen really any minute at this point. I'm going to step out of the way and just show you what we're looking at. Beyond that fence, there are some of the vehicles that we expect to see pulling out any minute now, really. It's not an exact time frame on when that will happen, but we know it's going to happen any minute now. So what I've been told is that they're first going to go to Waycross for a, for a safety briefing, and then from there, they'll go to Valdosta. I want to go ahead and show our, our, our viewers some video of that Georgia damage from Hurricane. Idalia. Now, I did talk to the electrical coordinator who is going on the trip just a little while ago at 430, and he told us uh, how long they'll be there really, frankly, is up in the air at this point. They're going to go there. They're going to assess the damage, assess what the need is, and that will determine how long they're going to be there. This is also what he told me just in the last 30 minutes. It's mutual aid. I mean, it's constant. We're really either going to help them or they're coming to help us. So you always put yourself out there. We, we like going out of town. We love going to help people. That's most of the guys in the electrical department. Just that's what that's the way they feel. Uh, they they want to go help because they like being helped when the time comes. We had we had mutual aid crews here from Missouri and Texas two days ago. Didn't end up needing them as much as we thought we would, thank God. But other people did, so we released them. They went on to help somebody else, and now we're going to do the same. And it's definitely going to be an extensive mission once they do leave and head out there. So we expect that to happen really in any minute now. We were told it would be 5 o'clock. Of course, we're going to stand by for that and keep you guys posted. And again, it really depends on what the need is going to be to determine how long these JEA crews are going to be there. Amanda and Bruce, I'll send it back.